Hello viewers, today we will learn ActiveMQ. So this is going to be a basic tutorial on ActiveMQ and we will do the actual implementation with Java connecting to ActiveMQ in the next video. So this is the basic of ActiveMQ and it is going to be a series of videos. So what is ActiveMQ? ActiveMQ is a flexible and powerful open source multi-protocol messaging system. So ActiveMQ is the most popular open source multi-protocol Java based message broker. It supports industry standard protocol so users get benefit of client choice across a broad range of broad range of language and platforms. Connect from clients written in JavaScript, C, C++, Python, .NET and many more you can integrate. It has the capability to integrate to a multi-platform application using the ubiquitous AMQP protocol. Exchange messages between your web application using the Stomp or WebSockets. It manages your IoT device using MQTT, supports your existing JMS infrastructure and beyond. So it has a wide variety of uses. ActiveMQ offers the power and flexibility to support any messaging use case. So Apache ActiveMQ is a well known and widely used open source message broker. ActiveMQ is based on Java and uh, it is a message oriented middleware which acts as a JMS provider implementing JMS specification. ActiveMQ provides a rich set of features for organization to improve to implement messaging for different systems and applications in an efficient, reliable and secure manner. With JMS specification at its core, Apache ActiveMQ supports pub sub and point to point messaging through topics and queues respectively. With support of multiple protocols and data formats, ActiveMQ is capable of supporting different types of clients and applications written in different language and supporting different protocol. It can seamlessly integrate with ActiveMQ broker to ach achieve the desired goal of messaging. ActiveMQ supports REST APIs, AMQP, STOMP, MQTT, and various other wire level protocols. So, what are the benefits that it provides? So, the benefits we get is of high availability, scalability, reliability, performance, and security for enterprise level messaging applications. It is JMS compliant. So ActiveMQ is fully compliant with JMS 1.1 standard. JMS specification provides a standard mechanism for synchronous or asynchronous message delivery once and only once message delivery and message durability for subscribers, etc. Connectivity options. ActiveMQ supports HTTP or HTTPS, multicast, SSL, STOMP, TCP, UDP, XMPP, thus providing a wide range of options for connectivity and allows various systems to communicate using their choice of protocols. It is pluggable architecture. ActiveMQ allows to choose a persistent mechanism and also provides options to customize security for authentication and authorization as per the application needs. It supports multi-platform. ActiveMQ provides client API for many popular languages like Java, C, C++, .NET, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, etc. ActiveMQ broker will run in JVM but client can be written using any of the supported languages. Broker cluster. ActiveMQ allows to prepare a network of brokers for scalability and can support different types of topologies. It has a rich set of features. ActiveMQ provides many advanced features for both broker and clients and support Apache Camel. Now what is point-to-point -point, uh, messaging? So in point-to-point -point messaging, the broker sends message to only one consumer and one consumer consumes it. If a consumer is not consuming, then it will wait till the message until they get the message from the broker. No consumer will get the same message. If there are no consumers, the broker will hold the message till it gets a consumer. This type of communication is also called as queue-based communication, where the producer sends message to a queue and only one consumer gets one message from the queue. If there is more than one consumer, they may get the next message, but they won't get the same message as the other consumer. So here in this diagram, you can see we have a producer and we have a consumer. Once producer sends a message, uh, it goes to the message broker and then it reaches to the consumer. So that was the point to point. In case of public subscribe, the broker sends uh, a copy of the same message to multiple consumers. This type of communication is known as topic based communication where broker sends same message to all active consumers who has subscribed for a particular topic. This model supports one way communication where no verification of transmitted message is expected. Here you can see in this diagram, producer sends a message and there can be multiple consumers who can consume these topics. So this is called publish subscribe, uh, subscribe messaging model. 
ActiveMQ is open source protocol developed by Apache fun and functions as an implementation of message oriented middleware. Its basic function is to send messages between different applications, but it includes additional features like Stomp, JMS, OpenWire. It supports enterprise feature and a high number of transport protocols. So how does it work? It, it is written in Java. ActiveMQ translates messages from sender to receiver. It can connect multiple clients and servers and allows messages to be held in queues instead of requiring both the clients and server to be available simultaneously in order to communicate. Messaging can still happen even if the applicant is temporarily indisposed. So what are some of the use cases where uh, ActiveMQ can fit in? So message broker like Ap Apache ActiveMQ can fit in plenty of situations and with its rich feature and wide protocol supports and available client API, it can be used for any messaging requirements where a decoupled asynchronous communication is required for different systems and applications. A few examples use case for Apache Active MQ are as below. It can be helpful in case of web, web protocols, asynchronous messaging across models, order processing system integration, partner or client's messaging or broadcasting system, and in case of also IoT messaging. So the benefits of using Apache by Active MQ with Apache Active MQ, you can achieve asynchronous decoupled messaging for different system and applications with help isolate message producer and message consumer from each other, making it easier to scale, modify those system in a transparent manner. With support of multiple protocols and data formats, Apache Active MQ enables integration heterogeneous system without restriction of limiting to the specific protocol requirements. Application written in any program language legacy as well as proprietary application can easily adjust in this integration ecosystem with such flexible messaging feature of ActiveMQ. ActiveMQ with GMS specification and its added feature provide a higher level of reliability, making it a good choice for data critical and mission critical implementation. With persistent durable subscription broker clustering, ActiveMQ based messaging environments can have a higher degree of reliability. ActiveMQ is a highly scalable and an ActiveMQ cluster can be horizontally scaled by adding more brokers into the cluster to meet growing messaging need. ActiveMQ provides a set of administration options through its administration console UI which can be used to perform various administrative tasks for ActiveMQ based messaging environments. So thank you so much for watching today's video and in the next video of ActiveMQ we will do some hands on practice. Thank you so much for watching and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel.